Tell me if you heard this before. Your price is just too high. How can you charge people that much? Or do you feel uneasy charging your client a lot of money? In this video, Tris gonna help us and Melinda to get over that feeling when somebody say that to you. So stick around. I have had a couple conversations, whether it be through DM, that designers are overcharging that if, especially if a designer is charging more than a doctor would get in one day, what we charge is inflated, that we shouldn't be charging as much as we do. All right, there's some, I, I hate to say this, but there are a lot of assumptions being made by whoever sent this message to you. And it's about to get real juicy right here, you guys. So if you needed to use the bathroom, you should have gone already because we're going to dive into this because this is a mindset about money and what's fair and the construct of how our society works, okay? Some people believe that it's immoral, unethical, unfair, greedy, selfish, and just plain wrong for designers to charge more than who they decide in society should receive more money. That's what you're saying, right, Melinda? Mm-hmm. So I think a lot of creative people especially have a really unhealthy relationship with money and value and getting paid to do something that they love and enjoy and that comes easy to them. So why do we have to respond to somebody who says designers should not get paid more than what a doctor gets paid? Who gets to decide? I'll tell you who gets to decide. The buyer and the seller. That's it. If you sell anything, creative services, if you sell a laptop, like, is it fair that Apple can command a pretty hefty premium on their products over competitors? That doesn't seem fair to me. Aren't Apple computers overpriced? Well, who gets to decide? Well, if I think it's overpriced, I don't like their design or I don't like what they stand for, I just don't buy the computer. But it would be weird to like stand out in front of an Apple store it's like you're uh, this is immoral, unethical, and you should never do this. Never sell Apple computers more than what it costs to make. So if the buyer says, I need something and you happen to solve that thing, then they'll pay for it. When a client comes to you, they have a problem that they already know they have to spend money to solve. I want that to sink in. When a client calls you, they have a problem that they know only by spending money will that problem go away. The buyer gets to decide if this is worth it to me. I could literally design the same logo for 10 different people and they will tell me it's worth different amounts of money. So when we can get out of our own heads and say that the world should revolve around our universe, like the sun does not orbit around you, I'm here for the customer. So the customer says, I got a big problem. Great. I want to solve it. A customer says, I got a small problem. I'm like, you know what? You need to call Larry or Mary because it's not for me. It's just that simple. I'm not going to force the small customer or the customer who's got a very small problem to then try to escalate it to being something much bigger than it is. Because in other circumstances, we would say this is ridiculous. Why would I ever even listen to you? What I'm seeing with this perspective is that yeah. They are putting value on the thing itself and not the problem that it is solving. Because the problems in all those scenarios are completely different. The context yes. is different, right? They're looking yes. at just the thing. The thing didn't change. The thing's the same. How could it be worth more or less? Right. So, well, let's context. look at this. Okay, you're 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 right. And I want to add some more to this. A doctor doesn't charge you the same amount of money based on the on the time that they spend. So when you go and you talk to the doctor and you're doing a consult, that's done for very little money. But the time in which they're operating on your eye, that's a lot of money. When they're removing some cancer from your body, that's a lot of money. So then you can say, well, why does at one point the doctor charges X dollars an hour or for free and then charges a lot more per hour for something else? Their time is exactly the same. And it's actually, it is related to the problem, but it's actually mostly related to the buyer. So it's not really up to you to decide. The same thing goes for just about everything, like the seat on the airplane, the, wa the bottled water that you guys buy and consume, the handbags that you carry around uh, your clutch or whatever and say, this is worth a lot of money. The buyer decides this is worth a lot of money. The seller happily agrees to take that money. And then the poor vendor says, why don't people want to buy my knockoff poorly made bags for more money? They say, well, luxury goods are a scam. 
different topic, different time. That's all they do. So they cast stones because it would be more upsetting for them to believe that they're the ones that are in the situation. And if they learn how to do this, that their situation can change. It's just that everybody has a different need and different worldview, a different value system. And I think once you start to understand that, then you understand the subjective nature of value. Uh, Melinda, you have any kind of final thoughts or questions? No, I'm good. You're good? Yeah. So don't don't pay any attention to those people, okay? There are a thousand people out there who seemingly, like their only purpose in life is to throw shade because they just can't cope that other people are happy, successful, and in meaningful, healthy relationships. They just can't cope. So they make up reasons why you're terrible, you're, you're an evil human being, so that they can feel a little bit better about themselves. And for all those people, hey man, if that's your, if that's your drink, you wanna drink your poison, be my guest, I'm not gonna stay there, okay? And if you do stay there, Melinda, then you've fallen prey to this, and I don't want that for you. Money can be a difficult topic to talk about, but if you can understand the subjective aspect of value and always think about what is it that the client gonna get from you, how much their business gonna grow if they were to work with us, then you will feel really happy judging what you worked. Comment down below what is the key takeaway that you learned from this video. We love seeing you grow and we are here to help you with that. So like, comment, share this video and I will see you in the future.